here we go again, man. I'm tired of talking about this situation. It feel like I, I, I don't know, man. It's, Should I? Okay. All right, guys. Um, <laughs> man, I'm so tired of this. I'm tired of talking about this. I'm just tired of it. I'm, I'm really, really tired of this situation. <sighs> Watching Undisputed today. You know, Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. Skip Bayless is a big time Cowboy fan. Uh, he tries his best to defend the Cowboys. And Shannon Sharp just dogs him out every time, you know. Uh, Shannon Sharp can't stand the Cowboys. Uh, but he has his reasons. God bless him. Now, uh, the segment today was about Dak Prescott. And um, it was called Dak to Reality. Kind of like back to reality, but Dak to reality. Get it? Anyway. Um. Overall, it was about the, the Dak Prescott take a uh, step back this past season. Now, um, I'm so tired of talking about this. Um, us, Cowboy Nation especially, are tired of, of videos. I don't even know why I'm making this video. As a matter of fact, I'm going to stop. Fuck it. Man, I'm sorry. I can't help it, man. Anyway. <laughs> um, now, Dak Prescott taking a step back. I, I, I just can't see. It's 11 guys on the field. If the offense is out there, if the defense is out there. And a quarterback needs everything to fall into place for him to be him to be successful. Uh Dak Prescott. Let me let me go over the numbers real quick. I, I'm starting to become a stat guy. First, at first, I said I wasn't a stat guy, but I'm I'm, I'm starting to become. I, I don't know it offhand, you know, like LL and my boys do. But um, now this past season, Dak threw three thousand three hundred and twenty-four yards, twenty-two touchdowns, thirteen. This this is the stat that hurts him. Thirteen interceptions. QB rating of 86.6, which was 17th in the NFL. I think he was tied with Andy Dalton with the Cincinnati Bengals or whatever his name is. Uh, but that number 13 really, really hurt him. And I think that's what they're going off of because the numbers aren't too much different from last season. Now, let me go over last season's stats. 2016, a 13-3 season, which we were supposed to go to Super Bowl that year, but don't know what happened. Uh, 3,667 yards passing, 23 touchdowns, just one touchdown more than uh, what he had last year. Only four INTs, which is very good for a quarterback in a whole season. And his QB rating was 104.9. Uh, I believe he was in, uh, no, he wasn't tied with anybody. He was a, he was a percentage over Aaron Rodgers, so which was pretty damn good because Aaron Rodgers is supposed to be an elite quarterback. So, And that was just his rookie season. Now, uh, I, I've talked about this a million times. I don't even need this anymore. i talked about this a million times. Me and my guys uh, on the round table, my YouTube buddies, Cowboys Nation, LL, uh, Cowboys, Dallas Cowboy Football News, uh, Space Cowboy, DJ Crown J, which is fifth quarter Cowboy, um, my Cowboys family. If you haven't subscribed to these guys, make sure you do because these guys, this, the, the content that these guys give out is amazing. Uh, they do they do a wonderful job at, 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 at updates and you know live streams. These guys are the best. So please subscribe to those guys, man. Um, but anyway, we we've had an a, an, uh, an argumentative <laughs> discussion about Dak and, and, and Zeke and, and 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 you know Dez and. Um, um, it's, we agree to disagree. You know, a lot of us agree. A lot of us, some of us disagree, you know, but everybody's right. You get me? It's kind of hard to say, oh, we disagree, but everybody's right. Everybody has a, 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 a good point about the, about the subject, about the situation. 
Now, um, we all agree that the Cowboys didn't do as good as they did last. This, this is really what this is all about. The Cowboys didn't do as good as they did in 2016. Um, you know how I feel about the situation. It has to do a lot, you know, starts from here and, and last but not least, the players. It trickles down to the players. Action reflects leadership. Uh, the coaching was off. It had a lot of injuries last year. And I'm not making excuses. These are just things that happen to our team. Uh, obviously, the Eagles had injuries and, and, and the same things, you know. But they were able to win a Super Bowl. That's because they have a good front office, good coaching staff, good coaching uh, owner that kind of stays out of the way and, 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 and let their players play and let the coaches coach and not want credit for every little thing from a, a Dallas Cowboys shoelace to whatever. But anyway, God. I love Jerry Jones, man. Uh, he, he's a good dude. He's, like I've said before, he's paved the way for a lot of, you know, athletes. And, and he's passionate about his team. And I believe he does finally want to win again. Uh, but he's just a little bit too too hands-on. Too hands-on for an owner. You know, just, you know, sign the checks, you know, be involved in the draft and things like that. But that's about it. You know, we don't need anything else from you. That's what the coaches are for. Get a real coach in here and we'll see different results. Um but anyway, back to Dak. Um, his his numbers aren't as bad as, as last season. Aren't as different as last season, I mean. Um, the only thing that killed him is his interception, those 14 INTs. And that had a lot to do with the offensive line being broken up last year. With the departure of Leary, you know, uh, and Free. Uh, those two guys, they kind of, you know, there's a chain. They kind of were the last two links of that chain together. Uh, that that's why Zeke was so successful. That's why Dak was so successful. That's why Dez was was a lot better than he was, you know, last year compared to this year. Uh, it's so many things that you got to look at by just blaming Dak or just blaming Dez or just blaming, you know, one guy. You know, you got eleven guys on the field at the same time. You know, so everybody has to be on on cahoots with one another in order to be a success. Man, Dak is a good quarterback. He's only been. I can't stress this enough, guys. He's only been in the league for only two years. This is his third year, guys. Quarterbacks, it takes time. And who knows if him and Dez are going to get on the same page. Uh, who knows? It, they might not. They might never get be on the same page. Uh, we, we don't even know if they're working right now together or, or maybe talking on the phone or maybe going out to lunch or getting to know, getting to know one another. Those are things that you have to do in order to get to know your uh, your players. You get what I'm saying? So you have to uh, uh, build that relationship with, with, with these guys. You know, you have to do what you have to do to make things work. And, uh, you know, you know who – what the hell is wrong with my camera? There you go. Um, you know, it, it, it takes time. And we – us fans are impatient and we want to win now. We've been losing for so long. We have to realize that, you know, um, you know, it takes years for quarterbacks and receivers to, to, to be on one page. But, you know, I, I think that we, we us as fans and, and the media, we have to give them time. We have to. We have to, man. Um, I know time is something that we're – and patience is something that we're running out of. But uh, that, that's what the game is all about. Unfortunately, Dez is a little bit older than that. He's, his best years are probably behind him. And um, uh, there are ways to uh, resurrect your career. I mean, I keep saying this over and over. Look at Larry Fitzgerald. He's still in the NFL. He's coming back for one more season. He's still able to – they're still able to game plan uh, and, 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 and work around his aging attributes. You get me? So uh, if they can do it, you know, we should be able to do that. You got to adjust. Everybody has to adjust, not only the players, but the front office and the, and the coaching staff. Everybody, the, the key word is adjusting. It's something we didn't we didn't do a good job of last year. Is adjustments, uh, kicking off and coming back at halftime. I mean, uh, uh, getting the ball first and coming back at halftime and kicking off and, and relaxing and thinking we have the game won and letting games get away from us and you know having teams beat and letting them come back and win. Just you know that's just not adjusting. You know, just one dimensional, one track minded. You get what I'm saying? These coaches, I, I just. I, I kind of wish we just get a new look in here as far as head coach, offensive coordinator, 
uh, defensive coordinator. Just just new faces. We already, you know, we got some coaches here and there that made some changes. Uh, Rashard, secondary coach, you know, that's, that's a good addition, which probably will in the future be the defensive coordinator, you know, or, or, or which should be, you know. But, you know, um, our scheme is so predictable on both sides of the ball, you know. Um, people know what we're going to do. So, if you know, if, if, if my eight-year-old can – Say, Dad, why'd they run? Or, you know, why'd they do that? Or why are we all in the goal line and they start passing? And, you know, <laughs> I mean, something's wrong. So, but that's all I got, guys, man. Uh, everybody leave Dak alone. It's off season. Let these guys get, you know, get it together. Hopefully they're working and while we're talking and running our mouths. And hopefully they can prove us all wrong and shut us up. But uh, it wouldn't be a, a good show if we didn't have anything to talk about. So, hey, make sure y'all stay prayed up because you never know what the day is going to bring you. Holla back. I'm out. And the only thing else I got to say is, how about them guys?